Within the last 25 years of the Swan Princess, we have received a lot of questions about the development of the 1994 film. To answer these questions, we've done some digging in our own vault and revealed some Swan mysteries. One character that provokes questions from fans the most is Odile. If you don't know the name, don't worry, we will tell you all about her. As most people know, The Swan Princess is based on the German folktale and the Russian ballet Swan Lake. In the original tale of Swan Lake, Rothbart captures the beautiful Princess Odette. He traps her as a swan and asks her every night to marry him. It is around this time that Odette meets her prince, and they both fall in love instantly. Rothbart doesn't like that new sir. To deceive the prince, Rothbart sends his daughter, Odile, also known as the Black Swan, to seduce the prince and convince him to make his vow of love to her instead of Odette. Odile is successful in her mission, and Odette dies when the prince makes a vow of love to the wrong woman. If you watch The Swan Princess, you know that is not how our story goes. It's a good thing, though, because that ending would not work well for an animated fairy tale. In The Swan Princess movie, Rothbart puts a spell on the hag to turn her into the black swan and send her to the ball. What most people don't know is that Odile was going to be an actual character in the movie. What? Of course, it's still the hag doing some extra acting, but the character was going to be referenced. Don't believe me? We do actually have proof from Derek's voice actor, Howard McGillan's recording session from 25 years ago. Have a look. Okay. Stand Big up. ballroom scene. Mm -hmm. We've had this huge Princesses on Parade number, and at the end of it, Odette has not arrived, and you're really concerned. You're looking, and all of a sudden, your mother comes up and says, which one is it, Derek? And then there's a knock at the door, and she turns on Chamberlain and says, everyone that's here is here. Are they not? You haven't locked someone out. He doesn't know. Ah. She says, open the door. So he goes up there opens the door, and it is a, a direct look-alike of Odette. Right. But it's, it's Odile. Yeah. She's dressed in black instead of white. Mm hmm So and then you burn and she's running around trying to figure out who it is. You walk up. She, as she walks down the big staircase, you meet her at the bottom of the stairs. Uh-huh. And she says, hello. And you go to say, hello, Odette. And right. And as she does, she stops you. Right. Let's just read through the scene, and you'll get more familiar with okay. it. Okay. Derek, 01814 through 01817, it's 283. Hello. Hello. Oh. My name is Odile. Ah, you're right. We mustn't take chances. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Princess Odile. So if Odile was originally written to be a character in The Swan Princess, why was she cut out? We asked Richard Rich, the director, and he described something also mentioned by the character designer, Stephen Gordon. Yeah, we, we worked for a long time trying to create a um, more dimensional character on the prince, especially because typically the prince in most fairy tale movies have always been very flat and one dimensional and used just as a prop almost and so we worked real hard knowing that Derek had a very important part to play other than just kissing the princess and waking her up or you know being there as a hero we knew he needed to have a lot more depth and emotion so that that played a lot into the actual design of him you know, seeing what we needed that could actually be used and utilized for that he had to have a lot more than just your typical good-looking um, features they were concerned with making sure that Prince Derek was a solid character and not a secondary role that made him appear worthless to the story. They wanted Derek to appear more aware and properly tricked by Rothbart. This trickery justified Derek's anger towards Rothbart in the ending. What do you think about the production team's creative adaptation? What difference do you think Odile's addition would have made? We'd love to know in the comments. Thank you for listening to our Swan Mysteries, and we hope to see you again soon!